Hi guys, it's Kathleen. So I'm back with the brush video that I said I was going to do. So here I have all my brushes. They're not that many. I feel like I should have more, but I don't. So anyways, so some of these brushes I have bought at Michael's. I have bought some on Amazon from like an, act like an actual nail brush. Um, and so I found that I don't like the these actual nail brushes. They're, I find it better going to Michael's, spending about $4 on a pack of brushes that will last me forever instead of, you know, paying shipping and handling on Amazon, you know, for nail brushes that I won't even like. So anyways, so here I have a variety of brushes. They're all different sizes. The only problem at Michael's is that when you buy a pack, you get like brushes like these. How are you going to use these on your nails? I don't know. Um, but whatever, just have them there. And I did buy this one individually at Michael's. Uh, it's Artist Loft. And it just says that it's round. Um, so this is a really good brush. I wanted to show you guys how it is that I do cut my brushes. Because many times when you go to Michael's, you don't find the perfect brush that you want. Or you do think you, think you have the perfect perfect brush when you go to work with it it doesn't you know it, it just works weird and so you have to fix it up to make it work the way you want it to work or make it do the type of designs that you want it to do you know some brushes they might be too thick for you or they might be too thin for you like you know it all depends on how you like your brush so the very first brush that I ever cut was um this one and I think I've showed this brush before looking very old but it is the thinnest looking brush ever I cut it very thinly and it is my favorite brush I love this brush so much because there's so many things that I can do with it you know this is the brush that I use to outline that I use to draw you know petals or anything like this brush is just so easy to use and I cut it myself. So I'm going to stop talking now so that I can get to how I cut my brushes. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this this brush. I remember I said I bought it at Michael's. And it is the number zero. And it looks like this. It's You know, you can't really do anything with your nails. So what I do is grab the end and I do it like this. So I want to spread out all the, all the little hairs, the bristles. I want to get the hairs on the edges because I want to end up with only you know hairs in the middle so I take my scissors and with my nail pushing down I start cutting and with the very tip of the scissor I get all the edge hairs bristles whatever they're called <laughs> okay so I just keep cutting Okay, and then I turn it around to the other side. It gets a little messy, but it's okay. And then I cut the other end. Okay. And I just keep rotating it because I just want to end with the hairs, the bristles in the middle. And here it's all how you want it how thin you want your brush to be you know and if your nail gets in the way you can actually just use your scissors when you press slightly it separates them okay so I want it pretty thinly so like the first one that I cut it's very thin so I kind of want one like that So you want to like straighten it out. And then you want to look closely and make sure that you don't have any hairs that are like sticking out. Because then that will ruin your when you're doing your design. You want to make sure that everything is nice and even. I think I'm going to go with like that. And then what I like to do is I like to get water. So 
so I only have like a bottle of water right now. And I like to dip the brush in water, you know, to wet it. And then you have yourself a perfect little brush. Okay, so let's say that I am, I got some acrylic paint, so I'm just going to dip it in. So let's say I wanted to draw like flowers. You see it works perfectly. You know, if you wanted to go thicker, then you could. So here is how you cut a simple brush. It's very easy as you can see. You know, it works out perfectly. And remember, you can make it as thin or as thick as you want. This first one that I ever cut is much thinner than this one. Um, so you can just go thinner. Where this one is, um, this one's pretty thin too. But I don't really like this one. I don't know why. I like this one better. You know why I think I don't like it? Because this one is from, this is like an actual nail brush. It says like nail brush. And so the bristles, they're like, um, it's not like this kind of like hair. It's different. This is kind of like, like synthetic or like, you know, like plastic. So I think that's why, like you see how they have easily just like separated. Like this brush doesn't work. But this one, it has lasted me so long. And it stayed the same. Like, this is perfect. So, yeah. So, so that's just how I cut my brushes. It's the easiest way. I'm pretty sure you've seen other people do it. But it all depends on how you like your brushes. And they will work out perfectly fine. I promise. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.